Well, tell us about uh, your year after I left. You were there yeah. for a while. Well, after you left, um, we continued some of this work on constraints and consequences. Yeah. Uh, but, of course, you know, there was a gap because we'd had, um, well, you were still there when Ed Price joined. Yeah. And Ed Price took responsibility for the work in the economics of cropping systems. Yeah. Um, but then after you left, there was, there was still a gap, and we hired John Flynn, yeah. Australian. John had been at IITA, and somehow we convinced him to come to Erie. Uh, and John took on responsibility for some of the work. Um, and uh, <coughs> I, I uh, sort of was, we were, we were into the phase of the CGIAR. Mm -hmm. We were into the phase of uh, external review cycle. Every yeah. couple of years, it'd be a management review or a, or a program review. And you had to articulate you know, what it was that you were doing. Um, and you know, the plant breeders could say, Ronnie could say, well, we're breeding plants for zip, hip, and lip. You know? Or somebody could say, well, we're, we're breeding rice for upland rice conditions, mm -hmm. whatever. Agronomists could say, we're maximizing yield. Well, what could the economists say? Um, so we articulated this 40-40-20 vision for the economics program. 40% of your effort should go to understanding uh, the farm conditions and relating those to the interests of your biological colleagues, the real scientists, mm -hmm. as, as Delois will call them. So 40% of the time, you're working uh, on on farm issues, uh, trying to understand that, translate that, or interact with your with your colleagues. Forty percent of the time, uh, you are sp spent trying to interact with people in the countries, uh, the people that Delane Welsh put you in contact with, or or in Indonesia or Sri Lanka or wherever, your colleagues uh, in rice research, in the economics of rice research in the Asian countries. And then 20% of your time, you know, you could publish something or become famous or, you know, whatever it was you, you yeah. thought you had to pursue a professional career. So that was a 40-40-20 kind of split of effort and time. Uh, and I used to say to Ed and to John and to uh, colleagues like Perry Anderson or, or the other lonely economists in the other centers, you know, if you do the 40% of your time and effort to interact with your biological science colleagues, if you do that well, the rest of the time you can do whatever you want. It'll take care of itself because they're going to be saying to the director, gee, what Randy did was really helpful. I mean, you know, he pointed this out or he got me in contact with this or we discovered this problem, we discovered this bug or whatever. Um, and so in, the, in those days of, you know, increasing uh, generation of reviews and so on and so forth, it's really what you produce. It's kind of the chamber philosophy. Mm -hmm. At the end of the year, what did you do? If you did, if, if, if you did something that, that made something happen, great. You were productive. But if, they, if, if you were invisible, yeah. Yeah. then, you know, what are these economists doing? Yeah. The trouble of the economists is yeah. they raise problems. Yeah.